last night I had a pretty tough night. Today is the day of my 12 week scan. I feel really nervous. Got a text message from the hospital last night asking that partners and husbands didn't attend. I'm not permitted to be in there. How are we doing? Can you hear that? Yeah. I'm just gonna do this in the car because it's raw and real. <laughs> I just got off of the phone with my midwife um, because last night I had a pretty tough night. Last night I woke up to some bleeding. I never bled in my previous pregnancy with Mia and it was really scary. It was a decent amount to not be spotting or whatever. And I started getting some cramps as well. Obviously there was nothing I could do about it. Um, I woke up Ingemar, got a hug, and uh, <clears throat> I showed him <laughs> because, I don't know, I think I just needed like for it to not just be me in my head and for him to see that it was happening. And then we just, we went back to bed and I lay on my left hand side like you're meant to and I lay pretty much awake for the rest of the night thinking about every single little twinge there was in my tummy and trying to speak to baby in my head and reassure us that it's all going to be okay. Yomar was amazingly supportive. He can be everything but he is my rock. We woke up this morning, Mia was in our bed. <laughs> it's nice, it's nice to kind of have those cuddles but yeah she shouldn't have been there but anyway she was there. We just had some family cuddles and then I went off to the bathroom again and it had changed colour which is when you google things which is obviously the worst thing to do it says after 12 weeks that that's a worrying sign so yeah I'm trying not to worry so I called my midwife and then I emailed my midwife as well just to make sure I got the message across oh these poor women <laughs> have to deal with us and all our worries but yeah I let her know the situation and she just called me back now and said it actually happens to more women than we would like to even think about which I kind of knew from my googling and that it can be completely normal and means nothing you can have quite a large bleed and go on to have a completely healthy pregnancy um, healthy baby I mean my scan is tomorrow so she said either wait till tomorrow or phone the hospital see if you can get a scan today which she didn't think was likely but she said it sounds like it's just a bleed that's coming from maybe my cervix or something she said it sounds like old blood not to worry about it it's very difficult to tell especially over the phone where this is coming from what's caused her or whatever but of course you start worrying like what might you have done I've not done anything that I can even think of and I need to not start accusing myself and finding blame or whatever and punishing myself because this is just something that happened and it happens to many many women and it's probably okay but yeah so I've just dropped Ingemar off at work and I um yeah just spoke to the midwife and she said just take it easy today go home rest go for your scan tomorrow and then she'll get the results of the scan and we can take it from there so that's what I'm gonna do and just wait for the scan tomorrow the bleeding has stopped so hopefully that's it hopefully I can stay calm and stay off of Google <laughs> and try to just stay positive fingers crossed everyone so today is the day of my 12 week scan and I'm I'm feeling really nervous I'll put you up here there we go okay um yeah I feel really nervous and I think it's mostly because I got a text message from the hospital last night saying that or rather asking that partners and husbands didn't attend because of COVID rules. I was told by my midwife that because 
the healthcare staff are all, they've received their two vaccinations, that this wouldn't happen from my pregnancy point onwards because we were far alo enough along in the vaccinations. I mean, I'm staying as positive as I can and just thinking everything is going to be fine. It's not gonna be any news that I don't wanna receive on my own and then have to leave the appointment and go and tell Ingmar. But I'm just thinking about all the women who have had to do that and have received news, just even just scary news about their pregnancy or about baby and they're on their own. And yeah, I mean, single parents do this. But when you are in a relationship, you, I mean, Ingmar is my rock. <laughs> And it scares me that maybe there's something wrong and I'm going to have to find out about that on my own today. But hopefully not. Hopefully it's all going to be fine. I'm just going to have some breakfast, chug a load of water ready to have a nice full bladder for the scan. And then we're going to head off. It is an incredibly snowy day again. It is minus four, but feels like minus 13. Ingmar was going to walk me to school, but I said, too cold. So she's gone in her thermals <laughs> in springtime to school. And I'm just going to have some breakfast now and just try and calm. Look at the <laughs> definite family fridge right there. Yeah, try and stay calm. And just get this. I, I want to be looking forward to seeing baby and I just feel like let's get this over with so I know everything's okay and once I'm there and I can see baby then it'll be great but right now I just I feel so scared. I think the scan is going to go great. I know we're concerned but it's going to be fine. I love you. Of this amazing journey we just started. So I'm parked now outside the hospital and I'm waiting for a conference call from Sonia. I don't know if I have to use a mask when I'm on the conference call but they're pretty strict about it and I'm not permitted to be in there and due to COVID regulations and this stresses on the out a lot and it's very uncomfortable for us both but I'm hoping this won't take long it's nerve-wracking for her to be in there and getting the scan and it's quite stressful for me to have to sit here in the car and wait took some time off from work so we could do this together and when we called this morning they said this was the only option we had and I just don't know how to How are we doing? Baby is fine. Everything is good. That's good to hear, babe. There you go. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. It's looking at you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hello. <laughs> yep, that's a girl. <laughs> we have one girl already. Yeah. We okay. just want to use the clothes again. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a little bit. See you soon, babe. Bye. bye bye. Here you go. Your second baby. <laughs> I think it's a boy. That's a girl. <laughs> That's a big brain. <laughs>